What's going on everybody? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. We got a bull's eye snakehead. We're gonna show you guys how to fillet today. This is an invasive species we got down here in South Florida. Real pretty fish and a lot of people don't know but these are actually one of the best eating freshwater fish I think in the entire world. Super white flaky meat, very minimal bloodline. They might look a little crazy but I promise you they are well worth it to take the time to deflay them and then cook them up. So for today's filet demo, I like a more flexible knife to really contour to the snakehead's body. They got kind of an awkward body, so this is an eight inch Dexter flexible filet. I'm gonna have it linked below for you guys. Starting right here like we do with any fish, they got a considerable amount of head meat and fish like snakeheads that have real thick scales, I like to go into the scales. So just like this, around that fin. Now, and also I got a note, I sprayed this guy off a ton before. You guys are gonna notice that the filet tables are gonna start to get a little black. These fish live in fresh water in a lot of muddy conditions, so they hold a lot of mud on them. So periodically rinse the fish from time to time. Now take the tip of your knife and just go all the way down to the tail. All right, once we do that, rest the knife on the spine and just separate the filet from the spine. We do that until we get to the backbone. You guys can hear your knife run on the backbone. That is that bone right in the middle there. Once we do that, we gotta break through the pin bones. There's a set of pin bones right here on almost every single fish that attach a fish's fillet to the rib cage. So with one hand lift and the other hand break. Right there. They're always right there and attached to the rib cage. Once we do that, we can continue out our fillet. Other side of the backbone, point the tip of your knife down. Over that rib cage right here, they got kind of an elongated rib cage that goes quite a bit of ways. All right. And that's it. And there's your snakehead. So here's one side of your snakehead filet. Now let's do the other. So same thing right here by the head. Just go into it around his big pectoral fin. These fish have a huge pectoral fin compared to their body size, kind of like a grouper. Very neat fish. Now we do the same thing. We outline our fish from the head down to the tail. And those scales, they're going to want to fight you. They got real big, thick scales, kind of like a snapper does. And then just continue to, to separate. It can be a little awkward because that fish's head is so big, it kind of rolls over on you. And that's why I like that flexibility of this knife because it really helps you. All right, same thing right here around the pin bones. Over the pin bones or through the pin bones over the rib cage, other side of the fish's backbone. And that's it. There's the other side of your snakehead fillet. There you guys see your snakehead all filleted out. Now, tell me those don't look appetizing. You would never know that this fish comes out of a canal in South Florida. Very beautiful pinkish meat with very little bloodline. So to skin our fish, take your tail section, head away from you, and you can really um, push against the skin because it's thick, so it's real hard to go through. Just like that. 
There we go. And this is what I mean by that bloodline. It's a very small bloodline compared to other fish. Now all we got left to do, those pin bones I told you guys about earlier, we have to remove the pin bones. They start about here. You can run your finger and feel them. And every fish is different, but this snake head stops about there. So I go on one side of the pin bones, I go on the other, I lift up, and bam. Boneless, skinless snakehead fillet. We got to rinse off these fillets, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in the knife I used today, I'm going to have it linked below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one.